I'm Sean Ashley and welcome to the View Masters of the Universe. So today is going to be, I would call, um, a review of the Model H, but also a comparison of the Model M, which we had covered in a previous episode. So, the Model H viewer was produced in 1966 and went through all the way to 1981. Now, the thing about the Model H is uh, it, w it was part of the transitional period from Sawyer's to GAF um, and it was a part of basically the same family of Viewmasters as the Model G and the Talking Viewmaster. So there was the Model G, Talking Viewmaster and Model H. And when Sawyer's was producing all these Viewmasters they were generally a standard beige colour um, and some of them would have like this beautiful little metal plate that would go in this section just here. When GAF took over the manufacturing uh, of the Viewmasters, they initially kept doing them in the beige, and then they switched to their own color schemes, and that's where you get the red, white, and blue um, Bicentennial Viewmaster for Model G, um, and also the Talking Viewmaster is red, white, and blue, but also you'd get this blue Viewmaster, and that's because this is a lighted Viewmaster. And they kind of correlated that with the Talking Viewmaster too, where they made a blue talking view master so you could kind of differentiate at a glance that that's a standard view master and that's a talk uh, sorry um, a lighted view master so it's a pretty simple mechanism and how it works it's very very similar to the um, model D and model F um, you have these two C batteries in here and then you have a lever here that you push down and it lights up on the inside now uh, one of the problems with the Model H is that they have this reflector panel that normally goes there that's like an arch shape and what commonly happens especially with the clip models and we'll talk about this a little bit more in a second the reflector panel falls out uh, a simple replacement to that and I'll put this in another video or a link in one of my videos from my other channel uh, is just to replace it with a simple piece of plastic like that but we'll talk about that another time um, now there's a couple of different variations on this Viewmaster, um, not just in the colour and some of the features and detailing of it I suppose you'd say, but mostly to do with um, the backing plate here. So later models have screw points that hold the plate on and those ones generally tend to have their reflector panel still in place, whereas these, this one here is just a clip like it pops on and off. And that's where probably part of the problem lies. If it's in a box randomly in your attic or something somewhere and the back pops off, the reflector panel can go who knows where and you put the thing back on and realize that it's missing. Now, it doesn't play too much of a difference with the reflector plate in or out. It just works much better with it in. Now, um, this is probably one of my favorite Viewmasters in the collection because this is the view, Viewmaster that uh, I predominantly use as this is the bedtime view master at my house um, for obvious reasons um, and me and my son use it almost every single day. Now I'm going to compare it to the Model N. The Model N is probably more the modern version. This was released in the 90s. This is my 1991 Model N and ergonomically speaking and functionality speaking um, in terms of function this one works a little bit better. It's a bit more natural this one you have your hand on top and one hand on the reel and if you've got little hands like a child it's a little bit more clunky to use it's not as I wouldn't say ergonomic but more um, functional functional is just the best way to put it uh, this one you've got your light source there and so a little hand holding onto the eyepiece to stop it, them dropping it and then this hand is free to do that it's, it's a little thing but I do find that it makes a lot of difference now if you're not sure, go back to Model N to see how it works, but basically the principle is here is that you depress this lever and the diffuser axes the reflector panel and reflects it back. Now a lot of the um, diffusers on most standard model Viewmasters are flat, whereas this one has a curvature and that helps with the reflecting of the light. Now there is a downside to this. I don't find it works as well as a lighted Viewmaster as the Model H. The Model H is by far a superior Viewmaster in terms of an illuminated Viewmaster. This has a novelty aspect to it and my son loves it because 
it has this functionality, uh, this you know aesthetic to it is the best way to describe it. Um, it's pretty good at night time when you actually want to read the booklets as well. So you can hold down the night light and read the booklet in the dark and then look at the reel. Um, so it does have that feature. But because you've got the diffuser panel acting as the reflector panel, it's not producing as much light as my Model H. The Model H is basically like daytime viewing. Um, and it's really cool in that respect. That being said, I do like the fact that if you are in the daytime, you don't have to um, look <clears throat> look at the Viewmaster without the backing plate off to see it in the daytime, if that makes sense, because it's blocked out to help with the reflecting capabilities. Um, if you're looking for a nighttime viewer, um, I would definitely say get yourself a Model H. They are a beautiful Viewmaster. The weight is much of a muchness. There's not a heck of a lot in it. Um, there is a you know the slight functionality of differences like you know battery access is a little bit easier um, you know and also the clunky you're not going to lose parts with the back part falling off um, they both have their place uh, and I, I love them both I wouldn't say equally for different reasons but if I had to pick one it'd be my Model H I love my Model H to pieces it is a fantastic Viewmaster and for anyone that's looking for a new Viewmaster uh, one that they don't have for their collection I highly recommend getting one because they are just fantastic um, really hard wearing too like I do I do feel that this one is a bit more sturdy than this one this one the, it kind of makes funny sounds and this one does too but it just feels more sturdy um, yeah that, that's totally my personal opinion though. So um, if, if you've got any uh, different ideas about the Viewmaster or if you have different points or things that you think are positives or negatives, please put it in the comments line below. Um, I do really want to hear people's uh, lovely Viewmaster stories, their family stories about viewing particular reels or a particular favorite Viewmaster that you had or your childhood memories. Please put those in the comments below too because I love sharing these stories with other people. For now, thanks for joining me. Ka kite. until next time, I'll see you on Sean Ashley and the Viewmasters of the Universe.